Hey everybody, welcome back to Danganronpa 2. I'm Valk. The trickster Nagido was brutally murdered. His unpredictable death has left a looming shadow of mystery in the hearts of Hajime and the others. Who is the traitor? And what was the clue Nagido left? Will they be able to scroll this text faster or see the light within the darkness between hope and despair? Probably. Now then, during the class we trial, already know, buddy. if you vote correctly, I'll punish everyone beside. We still know. Oh my, Monami, my cute little sister, you're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon because you're a rabbit. She's not wrapped up in a rope. Oh, she's pissed, dude. One more time! Jeez! How about this one? This will be my final blow! She's pissed. It's useless. Please stop! I feel bad for Monomi. You're right! Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monomi! The class trial has started, after all! The victim this time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious! Probably the traitor. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. It would make sense. No, that might not be it. Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagido. Is here, right? Are they the same person? Or... I'm not sure. <laughs> Torture wound, survival knife, duct tape. My wow, that is a lot of. Okay. Um. Hmm. I have no idea where we're going with this. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. Okay. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Okay. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. I don't think so. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. That that was Fuyuhiko. I don't think that's what it is. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Oh, well, you are the ultimate Yakuza, but really caused by torture in the first place. Hmm. <laughs> What all do I have? Survival knife, duct tape. Hmm. I'm telling you, they were torturing him! The reason Nagito's body was covered with- It's because the killer tortured Nagito! So that's why he was so. Let's what were they think. trying to find out by? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. I don't agree with that. If so, the sus is whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. Duct tape, Monokuma plushie, Monokuma I, panels, I oil lighter, Monokuma's account, torture wounds. We're gonna try the no duct tape on. Torture someone. We're gonna try the duct tape on torturing him. The killer didn't oh. take Nagito's mouth to shut it. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wool. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. No, no that's, that's wrong. wrong. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. Mm -hmm. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. Oh boy. I don't think I fought you yet. Ah, I just realized it. It's a trap. A trap? Stupid Hajime. 
You got caught in that trap. What? Stupid. Forger wounds, burn rope, survival knife, duct tape, spear of Gungnir, Monokuma plushie. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? but that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. Oh, no, that's easy. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... Allow me to cut through You are so wolves. predictable, Kazuichi. Not even a master debater like no, Gundam. That's master no debater, by the way. Two separate words. He was beat up. What did you say? I said that you suck. You're probably the weakest intellect here. Even worse than Sonya. Who cares about the duck? And Akane. We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. I'd put Chiaki near the top for intelligence, then Fuyuhiko. Then Hajime, probably. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? Yes, she does, but... You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds, which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. Right. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. Yes. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Probably. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? Yes. If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? Like you did when you were trying to break his neck? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Mm -hmm. The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? Maybe. You can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire Hold occurred, on. everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Hold on. Those were stacked up against the door, right? And that's- that door is the only way out. Did Nagito kill himself? Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. That's because those Monokuma things fell one after the other like dominoes and knocked the lighter into the curtain. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used Yeah, for this. it's easy. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that, but... That ha it's That's easy. Honest, Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. She's maybe slightly better than Akane, and you. Alrighty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia. Damn right it is! The reason for the fire. It's easy, guys. It's easy. Have you ever played dominoes before? Where's my Monokuma panels? The direct cause of the fire was... The lighter. The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Yes. The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Uh-huh. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? No. They probably just threw the lighter. Mm, still no. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. Uh-huh. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Yes. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. No. They're 
There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Oh, whoops. Nope. No. Crap. Didn't mean to even present that for you. The direct cause of the fire oh, for oil sake. Of the killer used some he lit the curtain on some kind of setup. Did they use the oil as an improvised feud? They probably just threw the light based on the shape of it can stand upright while the uh -huh. if they tipped over the light, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible things. No. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound. Or perhaps opening the door yes. caused. I agree with that. I also agree that opening the door is what started it's the fire. Easy. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. Ah, uh, you're stupid. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. How did we lose Gundam? A huge and number of tipped over Monokuma panels. We still have Kazuichi and Sonya. Scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Thank you, Hajime, for explaining what I've been saying for ages. Effect. You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. Indeed. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second, if you'd run in there quick enough, then, uh, you might have been able to stop it. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the... I feel like they're all ignoring that the warehouse only has thing. one exit. There was something else that killed... They scattered some of them around. Crap! Oh, okay. Apparently not. The curtain? Ah, here. I see! You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. Yep. Akane's got much better hearing and senses of smell so the strange sound than everyone else. Was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Indeed. Ah, so the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Right. Yeah. And that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocked. But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Yeah, Chiaki's keyed in on what I've been saying. Is that a problem? It's yeah. It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. Thank you, buddy. Killer couldn't have left. I see. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? But we were all here. Now that you mention it, does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. B based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. No, you don't. You don't mean... Um, Hajime? What do you Suicide. mean? Suicide. Nagido Kumaida. This is my answer. 
What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? Suicide. What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? D d don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those... We're all self-inflicted? But... Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue! He was tied up, remember? Yeah, but one... One hand wasn't. Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand... It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all! No matter how much- No, it's possible. The burnt rope. He had one hand for you to tie himself up. He burnt the rope beforehand. Yeah. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Mm, if it- Tying just the legs is one thing, but... Tying both arms would be impossible. He didn't. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? No. Or if you use your front tail. What are you fucking... Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Okay. Hmm. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Mm. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. Why haven't both arms? You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Duct tape, my Kuma panel, oil. Dirty lighter. joke! Is that a dirty joke? Mm. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. No, that's wrong! Hmm. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were- No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. Only one. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied Why up Why weren't his clothes that? burned by the fire, friend? It's burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. I see! His sleeve. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure how he stuck case. a knife in it, but... Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. Why are you like this? Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. Why are you like this? That's definitely wrong. Thank you. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. What? What? Uh, hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Hmm. What if he threw it up in the air? Blood on the girder or the survival knife? Hmm. 
How could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall. Yes. Could he stab his hand that way? Yes. Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? And slammed his right hand down on it? No, that wouldn't work. Propped it onto what? If he just propped the knife, he could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. You would know, we huh? You don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. I agree with the uh, throwing in the air. right hand was free. How could he stab his right hand with his right? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall. What really? It, it's wrong. Okay, my bad. Even if Nagito's right hand was free. Okay, let's try this on propped right it on something. Right if he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Really? No? It, it's wrong? Uh, um... Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right... What we got for the survival knife? Hmm. What all do I have here? Monokuma plushie. He threw the knife into the air. Blood on girder. Monokuma panels. Oil fall. lighter. Toysher runes. Could Burn he stab row. his hand that way? Is he a throwing? Hmm. Okay, I had to Google this. Uh, it's a stupid. Even I would not have Nagi guessed this. Right hand was free. How could he stab his right hand? If he threw the knife into the I would have air, never guessed this. Fall. Could he stab his hand that way? The weird jump in logic expert? that I don't really he think. The knife Apparently, he I propped it with that. the Monokuma plushie. The life-size Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. That's why he stabbed a hole in it and then propped the knife on Makes it. Sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. Yep. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. Yep. I... I see. So that's the trick. I would have never figured that out. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or Wouldn't something. Wouldn't that be nice? A bleeding plushie is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. I would be disturbed by a doll's After hair growing at all. His hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. Right. Why would he kill himself? The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear. Ah, right? uh, he threw the weight up onto the girder up above. If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't the grab girder. a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain... Th there is a limit to his constitution. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Thank you, Sonya. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Uh, say it one more time. I hate you. Hey, bastard, you better cut it out. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. He wrapped the weight up on the girder and wait, waited for it to fall. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible? No. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death. I also agree with that. 
To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty. I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Get him, Monami. Ah! Monami sassing me. But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted. And it's too convenient. Do you have a better idea? Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. Fuck you. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer. But suicide is unimaginable. No, it's not. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. But wait. I feel that there's some way he could have stabbed himself. Yep. What kind of way? I don't know. You I don't do. Know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how we made it this far up till now. Everyone working together. I know what we're doing. All right, let's do this. Do I have... I don't actually have anything that looks very useful to me yet. Maybe this. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito... His right hand was covered by the knife, right? Mm -hmm. He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. If that's the case, the only other way is... He used his teeth? Why are you like this? Or maybe he used his front tail. I know guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. I hate you. <laughs> what are you saying? A blushing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome! Hate you too. Hmm. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. I think I when got the it. Spear stabbed Nagito. His right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand, but his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. No, no. Oh god. No, 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 no. We got it! That was no, very stressful. <laughs> Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Indeed. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? It's transferred over to the weight on That's the spear. That's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. Okay. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? Hmm. Ripping. I see! When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? I hate you. <laughs> Here's the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Now that you mention it, Compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. 
Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old I don't TV. even know how it works. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Huh? Really? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. The cord. I see. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Mm -hmm. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. His hand. Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human fist? Indeed. Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? Yep. And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not going to say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? No. That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Nagito was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. From there, how would he stab himself? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? Good plan That's name. That's a long plan name. One step at a time. Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. I wonder if he set it up over the rafter beforehand. How it was positioned. And then let it go, you know. Yeah. Logic dive. I think I got it. Oh boy, I'm really bad at this though. Everybody supersonic racing. I'm pretty bad at this. Stop it. Stop it. Rude. Above Nagito. Easy enough. Okay. Next question. Yeah. Ah! A ceiling girder. Yep. Give me the last one. Ow. At least. Yeah. Last one. What item connects both the spear and the ceiling girder? The spear's cord. Give me a bunch of health back, please. There's four! Oh no, we're good. That was a little bit close, but we're good. Coming together. We're fine. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. Perpendicular. In the middle of the air? Yep. If Nagito did that all by himself, 
Did he have some sort of ESP? Obviously. That'd be awesome, but <laughs> he probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. Yep. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. Yep. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It... Yep. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. Indeed. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Are you serious? He really committed suicide? Like that? Apparently. He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a Unless spear. Unless this is some kind of trap, but... I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then... this is for real? Mm. He really committed suicide? Oh, uh, hey look, Abuki the axe is a drumstick. Every single wound on his body. That was all him? Yep. Not just that, he did all that while he was gripping the spear? Apparently. That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Yep. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Indeed. Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. What the fuck is wrong with him? Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. Or he was trying to help you all and stop another killing from happening. His goal was to get us all executed! I don't think so. And that's why... He He's messed up, but I don't think he that messed up. Again? Did he want us to die that bad? No. That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. I really up. don't think that's what it is. Yeah, that's our Nagito. I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. Uh, I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. What are his exes? They look kind of weird. Gundam's got a big fancy ex. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form his malice took. I've forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. Mm. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. Maybe. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. It tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? Maybe. He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. This early, huh? Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? Right? What? You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's probably just my imagination. I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel so uneasy about it? Because we don't know who the traitor is, or... So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Mm. Then... it's okay to end it here, huh? 
That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. <laughs> hold on? Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And why? it relates to Nagito's death. Is it the why? Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. You're gonna keep going? Here I thought we were finally finished. Piece of evidence that he couldn't mess with. This? Crap! Nope. Something related to Nagito's death, a piece of evidence that even he couldn't mess with. Monokuma file? Yeah, that's it. Wow, it's been useful for once. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? The victim is Nagito Komaida. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. There's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Suspicious part. The time of death. Hangman's Gambit, probably, yep. T I. No. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, this is going to go very badly very quickly. It's not S, it's C. Cause of death, cause of death, it's cause of death. Ah, there's so many things flying at each other. Why is this so bad? Ah, fuck. Wow, there's way too much fucking stuff flying here. Jesus Christ. Give me a break. I can't see. I need to finish this before I die here. Jesus Christ, there were so many letters. In this particular case's Monokuma file, there's no specific cause of death. Hmm. Not only is there... Right. 
Isn't that weird? Until now. But the cost. The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Is it? Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. No, I don't well, think so. Well, Monokuma, I plead the fifth! Here he goes again! I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Mikan's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. <laughs> Are you saying that applies this time too? Probably. <sighs> hold, hold on a sec. Then, are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? There might be. Are you suggesting, again, that his death wasn't a suicide? It's entirely possible. You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place! No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide. But, it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. Mm. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I don't think so. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. <laughs> what friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Make sure you vote in November, people. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma! You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. That's what I believe. Oh, Splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. What the fuck? That's right! If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you! All your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. Yo. Is Nagito... ...inside Monami right now? Like, is Nagito's consciousness inside Monami or something? Think about it. Probably not. Might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. I'm probably overthinking. <laughs> okay, there's the midway point. Whew. No, no! Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought that voting time was going to start, but... Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was going to happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out, too. You're the only one who didn't know. Isn't that right, Monami? How much longer are you planning to sulk? Let's get along like we always do. Alright, you passed! Friendship is measured by how long you can stay in the silence when you're all alone with someone else. So, Monami and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know. We aren't even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother! It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Well, there may be some demands for that. Ooh. I fell for it! I totally took the man bait! Oh boy.